Good afternoon and welcome to Uniquely Urbandale, a program brought to you by the Urbandale Chamber of Commerce. I'm J. Michael McCoy. With me, my co-host, Mary Harkin. She is the membership director for the Urbandale Chamber of Commerce, and we'll be speaking to her in just a moment about all the advantages of becoming a member of the Urbandale Chamber of Commerce. But first, we'd like to highlight one of the Urbandale Chamber of Commerce businesses, and that is the Cherry Clark Furniture Store. Custom order furniture built to your specifications, and we have the owner here, Gary Clark. Now, I'm going to expose you, because you said off camera, that the brains of the operation Mm -hmm. your wife sarah right was not able to be here today but that's nice that you recognize her yes well she told me to come so oh she told you to come you're a good husband (laughs) i do do what what you're told (laughs) all right now in this world of copy and paste copy and paste copy and paste widgets um cherry clark furniture is very unique because you custom make everything you sell right exactly tell me about that process well people um what we mainly make are desks and hallway tables and sofa tables and library tables a lot of those and um people can specify whatever they want whatever size and we'll make it we typically make it in cherry wood which is unique uh, I did make a desk recently in quarter saw and oak, which is uh, old fashioned type of oak. And that was a request. So it's kind of unique in that anything you want, we'll make. But I only make it in solid wood. I never use veneers. I never okay. use plywood. I don't do anything but solid wood and the mortise and tenon joints, dovetail and all that. Wow. So it's kind of old school. In fact, most of my furniture won't have any metal parts in it at all. Wow. Because it's all done the old fashioned way. And I, I take, by the way, you're talking, you're the craftsman. I am. So yes. you're the guy that puts on the apron and almost cuts your thumb off on the blade saw. A couple times. <laughs> okay. But, uh, Where does this passion come from? Because I think that's a wonderful passion. Right. Well, I've been doing it for, I've been doing it for 30, 40 years. Since I, I, years ago, I graduated from Iowa State, and I would use their wood shop. for. I remember I rented it for $10, and I could make things in. So I've always made things. It was a passion of mine. But um, it, well, in the last year or so, uh, my wife and I talked about it, and she has some other stuff we'll talk about too and we decided we'd get together and start making that so i've had several requests i'm making a cherry desk now for a customer in nashville tennessee Mm. and um we we do that we also do furniture repair which is kind of unique because if anybody sometimes if you have an heirloom piece and it's broken we'll be more than happy to fix that for you um not just the the furniture custom furniture plus furniture repair but we also make also we I found out just recently we upcycle things. Upcycle. I don't know what that means. I I found out. An upcycler is is where you take items and repurpose them. We spend a lot of time at Restore, which is a wonderful place. Uh, But what we'll do is, as an example, we take glass um, insulator lights that used to be on telephone poles. Yeah, yeah. And I recycle, I'm sorry, I upcycle them and make table lamps out of them or wall sconces or whatever. Oh, I see. So a recycle usually means it gets broken down to the basic materials. Upcycle means you make something new out of what you already have. Yes. And so actually something maybe a little bit better than what it was because sometimes it was just a glass insulator, but now it's glass insulator. And I always use like cherry or walnut or, or oak for the base of it or for the wall sconce. And then um, it's just it's just all upcycled. So it's it's things that have been around for a while that we upcycle. We have pallet wood. We make all sorts of pallet wood frames. And that's another example, too. We bought it. We got a whole bunch of pallets. I cut them down. We make things out of those. Um, example, I'll go to Restore, which is a wonderful place, by the way. It's for Habit Humanity. Um, it's over on the... I'm not... No, I know it's on Euclid, it's a great East Euclid. Yeah, yeah. yeah the way I like about it is that, they, that, that people will bring in things they no longer need and resell them. And so we'll sell, we'll buy like cabinet doors and I'll take the cabinet doors apart and then mostly they're cherry and I'll sand them down and I'll make uh, frames out of them, put chalkboard in them, dry erase board. So are you also the creativity behind the product? That and my wife. We okay. both do it together. She does, she's really creative and will take uh, furniture and repaint them and do those things. In fact, she now has a line of chalk paint and um, milk paint that we just uh, became um, vendors for. Tell, so, I, oh, I don't know what milk paint is. Tell me what that is. Um, I give up. <laughs> okay. so she's not here. That's her specialty. She's really good at, with using milk paint and chalk paint and all these okay. different things to, to repurpose or upcycle different types of items. And so she's, uh, she'll take, um, we'll take dressers or whatever it may be, and, and then she'll repaint them and re, re-up. And I, um, sometimes I'll help her with that, but she okay. does a lot of that herself. All right. So someone's listening here and they have grandma's hutch. 
Right. They have this piece of furniture whose memories far outweigh any physical value, right. and they want this, and I'm not going to say restored. It may be upcycled. Right. And that would be something that they would come to you. Now, how would they do that? Would they send you pictures? Would you actually want to touch the piece of furniture? How would you do that? Well, we have a, a storefront, which is in Clive on University Boulevard. Okay. Um, and it's usually, she's mostly there four or five hours a day, um, usually on the weekends, but certainly call. We have a website, cherryclarkfurniture.com. Okay. And uh, we have a presence at Brass Armadillo. We also have a booth at um, Memory Lane and Valley Junction. Okay, yep. And so you can see some of the items there. Plus, our um, website has all the items available. She also sells on Etsy. We have a uh, Pinterest. So yeah. all those different, and, and pardon me, that's really her expertise because I just go on the shop and make stuff, and she does all the other things. That, that's but all I right. Do, but I do know that, that we have a presence there. I, I actually manage the website, so at least I know that part of it. Okay. Uh, but we do have the presence. and. Uh, some of our stuff, we ship a lot of stuff out of state because they'll find things on Etsy or on our website. Yeah. Now, you said you're making a custom cherry desk mm -hmm. for someone in Nashville. Mm -hmm. I don't need you to tell me the name. Right. But is it a big music person, someone who this desk is? That I don't is, know. Okay. I'm not sure. It's like I sent a table lamp out. We just said ship one today to New York City to wow. some apartment on Broadway. So I don't even, I have no idea who's getting it, and that's okay. But yeah. I'm excited <laughs> the fact that we actually had a request for a desk in Hawaii, but I priced it out, and it would have cost $1,200 to ship it. And I can't drive across the ocean to get it there cheaper. Right. So <laughs> that one, they're, they're noodling on that, and I understand that. But we've had a lot of different requests. Um, it's really nice sometimes to have requests from around the Des Moines area because if it's in within Iowa, we'll, we'll take it to you. You'll we'll deliver ship, it. We'll deliver you. It's a lot easier. Then, then we will actually go to Nashville because it's an excuse to get away. Yeah. But uh, in most cases, um, we'll ship a lot of our smaller things. So what is your personal favorite item you've ever made? I would say the cherry desk. It's an okay. L-shaped desk. And I use mission style, but it's in cherry wood. It's kind of unique. Okay. And um, I have another job where I work at home on my computer. And it's really nice because I custom made it for the size of my, my office. And oh, it's okay. fairly large, and I have computers and all sorts of stuff on it. Um, I, I have a hallway table, which I really like because that's when you come into the hall. From the, you can just put stuff on there, you know, like <laughs> keys. The old, old, old school, yeah, just yeah. like that. So, yeah, I, I like, actually, I can't say there's a favorite because every time I make something, I kind of enjoy it because nothing's the same. Right. You know, every time I make the table lamps, there, some are out of walnut, some are out of oak, whatever. Oh, in fact, I just recently made a whole bunch of wall sconces out of a wood. I have no idea what it is. Okay. I went to the woodsmith store, got some exotic wood. It's beautiful wood, and I'm not sure what it is, but yeah. I made a bunch of wall sconces out of it <laughs> using the glass insulators, and I'm still trying to research. If anybody knows, go ahead and look, buy, and tell me what wood I use, because I'd like to know as well. There you go. Our guest today is Gary Clark. He and his wife, Sarah, own Cherry Clark Furniture. Is there a fantasy piece that you'd love to have someone commission you to make? I don't. Not really, because... I. What I really enjoy, I enjoy making things, but I really enjoy people appreciating what I make, no okay. matter what it is. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's to me, it's not like, oh, I wish you would all ask me to build X or Y or Z. It's whatever you ask me to build, I put my all into it, and I'm very proud of it. Yeah. So there's really not that. I, 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 we're Cherry Clark Furniture, but now we're Cherry Clark Lighting as well because we've, got, we've made quite a few different lights out of glass insulators. Okay. Um, the other part that we, and we do a lot of, we first started out in basically making um, wine cork trivets, and we make them all sorts and sizes. They're all on our websites. And then recently we bought a whole, we thought, well, I would admit, we're Iowa State grads, but my kids went to Iowa, so I'm all, right. I'm, I don't want anybody to think I'm one way or the other. Go Hawks. You know, well, whatever it may be. So anyway, what we did was we bought, uh, we couldn't, we saw some colored corks, but it's really hard to get them because we would buy in 5,000 lots of used corks. But we actually had them make us, a uh, company out east, red corks, white corks, black corks, and yellow corks. Oh. And now we make wine cork trivets that are black and gold. Red and gold, red and white for the Christmas or Nebraska Husker fans, if there may be there any. You go. And uh, some of them will say Iowa, Iowa, ISU or um, Hawkeyes in them. You know, whatever you want, we can make those up. Uh, that's what we first started with. And the other thing I want to talk about really quick, although I've, we have a lot of different things, but my wife's first passion was the go-to-church bag. 
And she always, when she went to church with, with her kids when they were small, they, she'd always get a bag and put stuff in them to occupy their time. And so um, she really had a passion for that. And eventually we, she designed with some people and, and we actually have go to church bags. They're um, probably small size, but, but they're uh, little bags where they're clear on one side so you can see what's in it. And it comes with a little cup, a mm-hmm. snack cup. Yeah. It comes mm-hmm. with a, and it says go to church bag logo on it, plus a little drink cup, plus a Christian book, Christian coloring books and Crayola is a little bit of everything. Good. The idea being that you can then go to church with your kids. They take their bag. They're busy, but it's Christian related and you can actually listen. That's awesome. And, I'm, and I, I bet you the, the pastors, the ministers, the priests would really appreciate it too as time goes on. <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's what we first started with. And then uh, a year or so ago, we were in San Francisco um, at um, we're Fisherman's Wharf, which is a really good chance, beautiful place. And there's those kiosks that sold these zippers. And I should have brought the purse, and I'm sorry <laughs> I didn't. My wife has one. It's called a Zip It purse, and basically it's a zipper. You can unzip it into a zipper and zip it up into any type of purse, clutch, <laughs> gym bag. Um, you, there's a whole line of them. Um, and so she liked it so much that now we sell Zip It bags, all sorts and <laughs> types. Cool. And they are kind of cool. They are kind of cool. They're um, and so we, we sell them at Memory Lane. We also sell them at our shops. So we have bags for little people and big people, whether it be go yeah. church bags or whether it be adults and kids. Well, guys even, too, we sell our bags that, you know, guys can use as gym bags and whatever. But uh, um, I think probably mostly for women. But I'm not disquieting that because I, um, I, there's one purse or bag I'd like to have, but my wife would probably... Make me pay extra for it. So. Well, may- maybe it'll be under the Christmas tree. This year. <laughs> well, yeah. maybe a little, little price tag on it. I don't know. Maybe she's got up my uh, salary. So, all right. Yeah, I want you to you check do. out everything they have at CherryClarkFurniture.com, and that's Cherry Clark C L A R K Furniture.com. You can check out their kiosks at Memory Lane in Valley Junction or the Brass Armadillo here in Des Moines. But most importantly, check them out at CherryClarkFurniture.com. Gary, thank you for being here. Thank you very much. Very much. It. Mary Harkin is here the membership director of the urbandale chamber of commerce tuesday morning nine o'clock that's the time people can come and find out why it's such a good value for their company to be a member of the urbandale chamber of commerce that's right every tuesday we brew wonderful friedrich's coffee and we talk about the different benefits that businesses can leverage with their membership so it's everything from marketing benefits maybe they have a passion for advocacy and they want to get involved in that way in the business world And we have events they can attend. We kind of go through all the nuts and bolts of different membership benefits that you have. So every Tuesday, you're welcome to join us. It's a wonderful, kind of casual environment to ask questions. And anyone is invited. Yeah, and and this is not your grandfather's Chamber of Commerce. Uh, It's an incredible Chamber of Commerce. I am a member of it. I have been for years. Even when I don't have brick and mortar, I find that the connections that I'm able to make and the people that I'm able to help fellow chamber members that I'm able to help. That's what I really enjoy. So until next time, for Mary Harkin, I'm J. Michael McCoy. Thanks for watching Uniquely Urbandale, brought to you by the Urbandale Chamber of Commerce.